Stampers, this is Dawn from DawnStampingThoughts.net and today we're going to make the window slider card, at least that's what I'm calling it. It's so stinking cute. So this is how it works. Don't you love it? Okay, so then here's, this is the one we're actually making today. Just because I think the colored cardstock will show up a lot better in the video. And then here's one I made, but I haven't finished yet. So I'm going to post it on my blog later this next week. And then this one right here, it just goes up. So it's the same exact same card. It's just pulling instead of to the side, you're pulling it from the top. I love it. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're using three pieces of cardstock, and we're using the strawberry slush. And this piece is cut at five and a half by eight and a half. And then this piece right here is cut at three and three quarter by four and three quarter. And then the Whisper White is cut at 2 and 3 eighths by 4. Okay, so we're going to need our paper trimmer. Okay, so I got my paper trimmer, and we're going to score, and we're going to cut on the 5 and a half by 8 and a half piece. Okay, so first we're going to go ahead and score, and remember, this is our scoring blade. So I'm going to score this at a half inch, and I'm only going to use this side of my paper trimmer because it's a little bit easier to access, that half inch. So I'm going to line up the cardstock half inch. And I'm going to score. Then I'm just going to flip it around and then I'm going to score at four and a half. Okay. Then we're going to fold our score lines. Okay, so now this is going to be the part. Let me go ahead and do that really quick so we don't get confused here. We're going to add some sticky strip before we cut. And this is going to be the front of the card, so I'm just going to put the sticky strip along this edge right here. Okay, so this is going to be the front of the card like that. Okay, okay so now we're going to put the card in with the sticky strip over to the right hand side, and we're going to line this part up at seven and a quarter. Let me see here, seven and a quarter. Okay, so now we're going to cut, this time we're going to cut with the cutting blade. We're going to start it at three quarter inch. Let me see if I can see that. I got it marked on my arm here. Okay, so this little blade right here has a point. You're going to line that up at three quarter, and then you're going to slide it down and cut down to four and three quarter. Okay. So you got your cut. Now you're going to slide it down to four and three quarter, this side right here, four and three quarter, and you're going to cut the same side. So three quarter down to four and three quarter. Okay, so there's your okay, panel. Okay, so now we're going to cut the strawberry slush piece. This is the three and three quarter by four and three quarter piece, and we're going to put it in the paper trimmer on the four and three quarter inch side. So it's along the and top. And line this up at two inches. And we're going to cut almost all the way through, but not quite. So you're going to leave your attached edge right there. Okay? Okay, so now we're going to take our panel piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up. Now remember, this is the front of the card. So you're going to take your panel, your two-inch section right here, and you're going to slide it into the front part of your card. I guess I should probably have used a different color. Let me use the white. I went ahead already and used a piece of white here. Same cut. And I'm just going to feed this two inch section into the front of the card. So it's going to slide like that. Okay? So then you're going to flip it over. Now where it's cut, you're going to add a piece of tape right here. Okay, so I'm going to use a piece of sticky strip real quick just to adhere those two pieces together right here. Now remember, this is the back side of the card. And all we want to do is just seal them up so that panel doesn't move. Okay, so we're not going to peel that off. We're just going to leave it just like that. Okay. So then when you pull this panel here, it's going to move and it's going to stay in place. Don't you love it? Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and take the 1 and 3 8 circle punch. And I'm just going to punch, I don't know, a quarter of a circle out. And then I'm going to go ahead and line this up. 
punch out the other side like that. Okay. So then your panel is going to be showing through here to pull that. Okay. All right. So then this is the whisper white piece. This is the two and three eighths by four inch piece. And I found that putting this piece on last right underneath that slider lines up a little bit better when you do it the last part. So I'm going to go ahead and put some snail on this section here. And then I'm just going to pull this to the center. I'm just going to slide this underneath the panel. And I'm going to line this panel up between those two cut lines. Just like that. And then before you push it down, I want to make sure that that's totally going to get covered, which it didn't. I need to slide it down a little bit more. I'm just testing it to make sure that that panel, when it slides, it covers that whole section, and it does. So then you can just adhere that down. Okay, okay. so now we're going to flip it back over. Now this is going to be the bottom section, and I'm going to go ahead and add some sticky strip to that. Just a small section right here. I don't want it to touch this flap here, so I'm just going to go past that. I just pretty much want to seal that bottom section off. Okay. Okay, so then we're going to make sure this panel right here is centered in between the two score lines so it slides really easily. Okay. Then you're just going to go ahead and peel off your sticky strip. going to fold this over and seal that up at the bottom just like that okay so now this is where you're going to decide and if you want it to pull to the side or if you want it to pull up the top and it's cute so either way and see this one is the one that I used with the strawberry slush as the slider I like using the whisper white so you could stamp on that but I did stamp little hearts on that. So let's go ahead and finish this one. Okay, so I'm using my mother, and we're using the your one in a million, and then I'm using this little tiny heart here. So I have a piece of vellum, and I'm going to use the stamp on the jig. And then I also use the petite pears, and I'm using sending a kiss, which I have right here. And then for the other side of the slider, I'm using Yippy Skippy, and this is I freaking love you. And then I also have a piece of vellum with that. So let's go ahead and stamp really quick. Okay, so I'm going to put this image right here. Take my black stays on. Okay. And then your one in a million is going to go over on this side. Up there. Okay, and then I have a piece of Whisper White. I'm going to stamp Sending a Kiss. And I'm just going to go ahead and punch this out with the one and three eighths circle punch. And then I have a piece of strawberry slush with the one and three quarter scallop circle punch. Layer these together. Pop the center up dimensional. Okay. And then see it slides. So you're getting two messages. Okay, so I'm going to take the strawberry slush we're just going to stamp the little heart all over here. Cute. Okay, so now the last thing is to go ahead and punch a hole. I have my hole punch here. And I'll punch a hole right here at the top. And I have some taffeta ribbon, whisper white. I'm just going to feed that through that hole there. So this is going to let the receiver know to pull that. Trim the tails. OK. 
Okay, so then this one, I went ahead and stamped the heart all over the inside. And then you could also stamp another greeting here if you wanted. But if you had to pull up this way, you could put it right there and it would be hidden. Don't you love it? Okay, so there's them two. And then this one uses the Kaleidoscope designer paper as my base. And then this is the other opposite side of this designer paper here. And I just turned it the vertical way. Okay, thanks for stopping by. We'll see you later. Bye.